Hi everyone, are you okay? Gorgeous day today. Have I've got the sun. Before you say I should have had sun cream on, I know, but I like to sit outside, I like the sun. I've just come in to make a bit of tea. So I've been just fingering through Olive magazine and I'm gonna make asparagus and salmon parcels. Can you see them there? There. That's what I'm gonna make. Just with frozen salmon, I had some frozen salmon in the freezer, so I took it out this afternoon, just with some new potatoes. So I'll get everything out and I'll, I'll show you what to do and we'll see what it comes out like. I put some potatoes on to boil, just new potatoes and some salted hot water. These are my salmon fillets, they're just out of Aldi. They're as cheap as out and you get five. So the recipe says 250 grams of trimmed asparagus. So I've got all this asparagus, it's two bunches for three pound in Tesco's just now. So you just snap it like that. Don't cut it with a knife. If you just, it snaps at its natural point. So the bit, this bit is woody. So we throw that away and you're left with the good bit. So do that to them all. Some chefs say you can do things with these stalks. But I've tried and it isn't very nice. It just goes stringy. I don't bother throw them away. Or, or I don't know if guinea pigs or rabbits eat them. I don't know. Put your oven on 200. So you just tear off some bits of foil. Quite big look. Or parchment paper. Put your salmon fillet on there. A portion of asparagus. Grate some garlic over the top. Just a few grates. Salt and pepper. Divide the zest of a lemon between your two parcels and the juice. About a teaspoon of butter. The recipe says put dill in, but I've got no dill, but I have got some fresh parsley, so I'm using that. And then you just fold it up, make it into a parcel. So I'll try my best to show you. Actually, I should turn the fish round, that's easier. over at the top and cr crimp in the sides. You don't want any steam to get out. There. There's my three parcels. The recipe's only for two but I needed three so I've done three. Now they go in the oven, 200 for about 15 minutes. So I would wait until your taters are just about done before you put them in. Pour some boiling water over some frozen peas. Drain your potatoes. Okay, so I like to peel new potatoes. You don't have to, they're absolutely fine as they are. But I like to peel them, so I'm going to peel mine. Drain your peas. Okay, now add your peas to your potatoes. Mine have lost a bit of heat just because I faffed about peeling them so I just put the heat under them for a bit. So plenty of salt and pepper, a good glug of good olive oil and the juice of half a lemon. I'll put all the fish there to fish them out. So fish is out the oven, let's have a look. juice. It smells lovely. There's your potatoes. Let's have a try. Mm. Nice. Cheap. Tasty, very tasty, very summery. That's a, that's a good meal, that. That frozen fish for five fillets. Can't remember how much it was, but I'm sure it was three or four pound. It wasn't much at all. And that's an ideal way to cook frozen fish. You could even pop that on a barbecue in the foil parcel. That would be lovely if you're feeling a bit posh. 
don't forget to like and share i'll see you soon and let's hope this weather stays as it is beautiful bye bye